Hello. Uh, <clears throat> welcome to this uh, 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 Dead by Daylight game. Uh, this will be a game in which I simply play the tutorials for the survivor and killer roles. The game is uh, loading right now, but once it gets started up, we can uh, go ahead and test out the tutorials. They uh, they give more information about uh, how many pages have I written? Uh, how Dirt. how each uh, role is uh, uh, played and what uh, what the game structure is. So we'll start by. Uh, Going to the play, hitting play here. And we can go to learn to play to find the tutorials. I will start by playing the killer tutorial. So it says, as a killer, you must hunt down and sacrifice all the survivors. This tutorial will teach you the basics needed to appease the entity. The entity is a character in the game, and the killer uh, so, uh, works uh, with the entity uh, to eliminate the survivors in, in, in that game. So it says, go to the generator. So we're, we'll go to the generator. As a killer... So, uh, it says we're able to see the auras of the generators, as you can see on the screen. That is the generator, the red aura. And while the survivors are trying to repair the generators on the map, the killer is trying to uh, prevent the survivors from repairing the generator. And the killer is able to see where all of the generators are on the map because they all have a red aura. So we'll go towards the generator. So now, a survivor failing a skill check uh, means that you'll receive a notification to show you where the sound came from. A skill check is what you need to complete, or the survivor has to complete when they're trying to repair the generator. Uh, so if they don't successfully repair the generator that they're trying to repair, uh, and are unable to do the skill check, then you'll be notified where, uh, where the, the sound came from. the generator here and then uh, uh, it offers it offers some instruction about uh, how what the killer does what the killer can do to the generators so here it says uh, you can damage the generators uh, so even if so a generator that isn't completely repaired can be damaged by the killer to continue preventing it from being repaired by the survivors. So the way to do that is to hold RB. Now survivors on each map, whenever they run, they leave uh, these. Uh, they leave um, marks on the ground, which you can see uh, this, this uh, red uh, scratch mark that the game characterizes it. And that's how you can, uh, that's what you can use to find the survivors as they're running around on the map. So now we can uh, we see the survivor and 
We can go ahead and follow the survivor. We went to this way. Now, the survivors, uh, they, so killers and survivors can move through vaults. But the difference is the survivor can move through vaults and that's really just a window that you can jump through. And so the survivor moves through these uh, windows or uh, vaults through the windows, uh, vaults through them uh, more slowly than the uh, killers. Or sorry, the other way around. The survivors... Uh, so the survivor's through and we can make our way through by just pressing RB and now the survivor has left because they were running has left these red scratch marks so that's how we can uh, and we can also see the survivor so we're gonna follow the survivor but the survivor just uh, knocked down a pallet now the pallet is the thing that just uh, uh, fell that fell uh, uh, down in the in the uh, in the place where uh, we are, uh, and that prevents, that blocks the killer from moving through that path and allows the survivor to escape the killer who is in pursuit. So uh, we can destroy the vault to get it out of the way by holding RB. Now, the character I'm playing in this tutorial is the Trapper, and the uh, the unique power of the trapper is to utilize bear traps and uh, these can uh, ensnare the uh, survivors uh, who uh, accidentally walk along across the bear trap. So let's go ahead and uh, place a bear trap here. We'll, uh, let's see, uh, I would like to place it so I don't uh, step on it myself, but I might have to. So I'm going to hold our LT. So now, and this is just an example of what happens if a killer accidentally uh, falls uh, into their own bear trap. So, we're, nah. so now the next thing we'll do is find the survivor. So we'll have to look around on the map. The survivor is right in front of me, is uh, 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 right there in front of me. So when the purpose of the killer is to attack and uh, hook the survivors onto the hooks uh, and try to do that to all four survivors on the map. And to so with the weapon that you can see the killer holding, that's how we will attack the survivor. You can. Uh, you do a quick attack or a lunging attack and either option will work uh, and the lunging attack works by running while trying to attack and the other option is just to hack at the survivor in a uh, kind of a uh, uh, in a uh, I guess a standing position so now we can attack the survivor there's a survivor uh, okay, she's running, so we have to follow. So I just damage her. So the survivor, they, they leave a, a blood trail when they're damaged, and they make more noise. And it takes only one more hit to knock down an injured survivor. So she's injured, so we need one more hit to knock her down. So we need to find her. And then this time I'll do a lunging attack. So after you've uh, knocked down, uh, after you've uh, hit the survivor twice, uh, then you can pick them up and uh, and then take them to the hook where the entity will uh, sacrifice the survivor. And the key here is that survivors can uh, break free from the the hole that you have on them while you're taking them to the hook so you have to get them to the hook before they can get out of your grasp and uh, s uh, s 
so let's go ahead and so so we have to press RB to pick up the survivor and there's an arrow right there that shows us where the hook is so we'll head over there so here at the hook uh, so so far it's so good with the survivor hasn't wiggled free or anything uh, so here at the hook we can uh, hold RB to hang now, this is where the entity will sacrifice the survivor because the survivor is hooked. Uh, but other survivors can rescue this survivor. Uh, and, if a sur and I guess you know, one other rule of the game is if a survivor will be immediately sacrificed after being hooked three times. So in, in this scenario, a, sur uh, a survivor is hooked and then probably escapes. And then hooked again, escapes. If, it's, if they're hooked again uh, a third time, then, then, then they'll be sacrificed. So here is just uh, uh, another rule of the game. A survivor can unhook themselves from the hook. They don't necessarily need a sur another survivor to... Uh, get them out of the hook, so that's another rule. So in this case, the survivor is unable to uh, escape the hook, and the entity sacrifices the survivor. Another rule is when there is uh, uh, one survivor left on. Uh, on the map, the hatch will open up, and uh, you have to find the hatch. You have to you have to locate the hatch and close it before the last survivor can go through it. So that's the hatch. And now, because uh, there's only one survivor left on the map, we have to find this it, to get to the hatch and uh, close it with RB. Uh, so now this talks about the end game collapse. Uh, when a gate, when when this uh, survivor, when the survivor opens the gate. Uh, or uh, if the hat is uh, so essentially the survivors uh, the endgame collapses something indicated by that bar that you can see in the image on the right that it's the the meter just continues going down that's the endgame collapse so if the gate is opened by a survivor or if the hatch is closed by the killer then the survivors have to escape through the gate and you have to kill the find, get the last survivor because the hatch would only open if there's only one survivor on the map uh, uh, left and uh, uh, the, uh, uh, so uh, uh, so, uh, so that's, uh, uh, and, and, uh, it says if time runs, uh, uh, if, uh, time, if time runs out, all remaining survivors are killed by the entity. So the end game collapse shows that time meter at the top. So if the time runs out, then the entity will take care of the rest of the survivors because they were unable to escape because the killer closed the hatch and they were unable to get to the gate in time. And and that essentially means the killer has killed the last survivor. Or uh, 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 it could mean that uh, just all the survivors that are left on the map that were unable to get to the gate, they just get sacrificed by the entity. Here there's uh, only one survivor left and he has fallen oh. to the bear trap that I set up, so we can go find him. Uh, this, so we have to kill him. He's stuck in the bear trap, so we can hack at him. And he needs one more hit. 
Or no, he doesn't. Because he got hit by the bear trap. So we pick him up with RB. Now we bring him to the hook. And that meter up there is the end game collapse. It's already counting down. So now here we'll hook with RB by holding it. As you can see, the survivor's trying to reveal the city, but not able to do so. And it, the survivor got sacrificed by the entity. And time is continues, continuing to go down, which indicates the end game collapse. So yes, that was a killer tutorial. <coughs> So next we can do the survivor tutorial. This is a similar tutorial just from the perspective of the survivor. So here it says it's an asymmetric game that is played in trials between four survivors and one killer. So essentially uh, it's saying because there are, uh, it's a four to one ratio of survivors to killers and there's a disparity in the number of each type of role so that's how each game is played on any map uh, so so the survivor must hide from the killer while trying to repair generators to power the exit gates that's how they escape the map so it says uh, we can use uh, the right analog uh, stick to uh, look around and the left stick analog stick to move so and then we can uh, use RB hold RB and use the left stick to run like that So because the sur this is uh, the survivor and the survivor ran, they left scratch marks that the killer can see. So if a survivor doesn't wants to prevent scratch marks from uh, appearing on, on the ground, uh, then they have to walk or crouch, uh, so uh, and, uh, not run. So, so to crouch, uh, we will... Uh, Hold LT and now we can move in the crouch position with the left analog stick. So uh, now we can uh, uh, vault uh, through the window and because this is a survivor you can vault through the window by running. Uh, but of course, this will leave, this can leave scratch marks on the window because uh, you're running, and uh, uh, so you can vault uh, as a survivor. You can vault through the window normally or through by running. And either op and uh, the only difference is uh, uh, one option will leave scratch marks, the other one won't. So uh, instructions to go to the window. So. Uh, to vault, uh, we can uh, press RB. Now, uh, 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 because uh, now there's a generator in front of us, and uh, as a survivor, the job uh, 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 of the survivors to repair the generators. So in order to repair the generator, we will have to uh, uh, hold, we go to the generator and uh, uh, complete something and uh, complete something that's called a skill check. Uh, so essentially, at the generator, what happens is uh, you uh, there's a skill check. Uh, uh, there's a meter that uh, goes in a circle, and uh, when the uh, when, uh, when the 
pointer uh, passes over, uh, re reaches the area of that circle where uh, it needs to be in order for the that particular. So essentially, for the, the survivor needs to repair the generator multiple times, and because generators can be partially repaired, uh, so. Time they repair the generator, they have to allow that pointer to uh, come uh, to reach that uh, area to, to uh, 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 you know uh, get to that area of the uh, circle, and there uh, uh, you can. Uh, that's how the generator gets repaired. That's the skill check. And if you get get the pointer in the solid region, you can see in that area of the circle there's a uh, kind of a unfilled or uh, there's a, a white solid region and uh, there's a, a black uh, uh, region. Uh, so. Uh, if you get it in the white region, then you uh, will uh, get a bonus, uh, uh, bonus points. Uh, and if you fail, and if you fail a skill check, as we saw in the killer tutorial, then there's a notification, a sound notification for the killer, and this uh, lets this. Uh, uh, Notify their this lets them know of the survivor's location. So here, so uh, what we'll do next is uh, repair the generator. Uh, so to, in order to repair the generator, we hold R B. Oh, so we, so the mistake I made there is I didn't press L B in time, or so I uh, to. Once it reached the uh, that uh, uh, area of the circle, so let's try again. So, uh, so, uh, so we, at that time it didn't work either. So. So we can uh, try again. Okay, uh, so uh, so we got the uh, the pointer in the uh, success zone. So that's why the the generator got repaired. So now we can vault through the window. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's just a simple uh, press of RB to get through the window. And then there's a, uh, uh, another window here that we can get through. Because we're trying to make our way to the generator. Ah! So now uh, this uh, here uh, uh, we got uh, caught in uh, the the bear trap that uh, the trapper set up. Uh, so now the survivor has to try to escape and then by uh, holding RB. Or, yes, holding RB. So here is another uh, piece of uh, information here that when the killer gets close, uh, the, your heart starts beating louder. So this gives some information about the, the killer. So now we can. Ah! So the killer here has just uh, hacked at uh, us, and he's about to pick us, pick uh, pick us up. And uh, we can try to wiggle free from the killer uh, by uh, uh, using uh, 
by uh, As he's trying to take us to the boat. So by alternating between uh, uh, R, uh, 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 LB and uh, R, uh, R, uh, RB and uh, LB. Uh, by, by alternating between LB and RB, uh, you're essentially trying to wiggle free from the killer, and so you just have to, you know, bring that uh, that pointer uh, in between uh, those two zones. Uh, now, uh, as we saw in the killer tutorial, uh, you know, survivors can push down pallets, uh, so. There's control uh, from both the survivors and the killers uh, for pallets. So uh, here it says uh, you can pull down the pallets to slow the killer, and that's what we saw in the killer tutorial. Uh, and if you drop a pallet on the killer while they're holding a survivor, then that survivor can escape. In this case, that's what happened. The other, another survivor pulled down the pallet on the killer and he escaped. So now the, the killer is uh, uh, heading towards Meg, the other survivor, uh, and we can uh, head towards Meg. And as you can see, the, uh, we are injured because the killer hit us one time. So here we can uh, pull down the pallet, and after pulling, uh, and then we can vault over it. Uh, and now, uh, 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 so here the what it says is the we can as a survivor we can vault over the pallets. And killers can destroy the pallets. So we can, uh, so the, uh, uh, we can uh, press RB to vault over the pallet. Uh, and uh, let's see. Uh, So the reason we're going towards Meg is because we need to unhook Meg from the hook. Uh, so uh, that's, uh, each survivor has to. Uh, so that's one other thing a survivor can do. So here we can see the killer is hooking Meg, and uh, we can try to unhook Meg from the hook. So we just unhook Meg and uh, now uh, uh, I'm gonna hide in this locker. Try to escape the hook. Uh, 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 
it says uh, the chance of success is extremely low of getting a uh, uh, of uh, uh, hooking yourself and uh, failed attempts bring you closer to being sacrificed by the entity. Uh, so I guess uh, that's just uh, 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 so that's one thing that uh, uh, is uh, uh, so that's what can happen when you hook yourself get hooked you can try to unhook yourself. So, uh, so you have to watch out for the resolve bar, and that's what would uh, allow you to uh, hook yourself, is what it says here. So, uh, that after getting hooked, if the killer is uh, uh, nearby, uh, uh, and you can uh, uh, unhook yourself with, uh, it says if the resolve bar with, uh, uh, you can unhook yourself with 100% success. Uh, so we can uh, use RV to uh, try to unhook ourselves. So hold. So this is good oh. work. So now we have to wait till Meg can unhook us. Uh, uh, so uh, it, in this case, uh, Meg is injured and. So as we're the, we have to another role of the survivors to heal other injured survivors. And so uh, here, uh, you know, it's uh, so we can. Uh, so what happens when you're injured is uh, you'll make more noise and leave a trail of blood uh, behind you, uh, which is something that the, the killer can identify. So we'll hold our B to heal, man. Uh, so, uh, uh, so th those are, uh, uh, so we can, uh, Uh, so essentially here is just saying these are two roles of the survivor is preparing generators and healing uh, other survivors. Uh, so next uh, we'll repair the final generator. Uh, let's go find it. This is the gate. Here's the generator where Meg is standing. So we uh, uh, do what we learned earlier is just uh, hold RB to repair the generator. Uh, so, so in this case, I failed the skill check, so we'll try again. When the, when the pointer reaches the, the zone it needs to be in, you just have to press LB.
here the generator got repaired and uh, now that all the uh, now that uh, the generators on the map uh, all of them have been repaired uh, uh, we can uh, open the exit gate and escape the map So we just have to hold RB to open the escape. Now the end game uh, collapse is has begun uh, because uh, we've opened the gate, uh, and so that's the meter that will show up on the top of the screen, and we have to get through the gate before time runs out. Otherwise, the entity will sacrifice you. option as the last survivor to escape through the hatch or go through the gate. So uh, I'm going to go through the gate. And uh, that's, the, uh, that's the survivor tutorial.